Even before the talks between Azimi and the government commences, there are signs of a looming trouble. In this video, I want us to listen to a group of Azimio supporters for their sentiments are going to inform our analysis in this video. Listen to this. Na mkizo tuta wakujia kwa hiyo parliament. Na ya mwizo, wana watu ambaye wakinaraila watachagua, wasilata watu ambaye wakua kwa hii maneno. Walata wale watu... Those are some of Azimio leaders and supporters. And from the way they are talking, you are seeing clearly that there is trouble ahead. Raila Odinga issued a press brief today where he proposed on how he would love the talks or the dialogue to proceed. In that Raila made it very clear that instead of the talks being done in parliament, they should be done outside the parliament after which the agreement from both sides are now then taken to parliament for parliament's approval. Something akin to what we saw with the Kofi Annan's team, where ODM at that time and the PNU of Kibaki, PNU of Kibaki had its members, ODM had its members, they talked and agreed outside after which the agreement was taken to parliament for approval. That's exactly what Tairo Dingo is trying to propose. But immediately after Tairo Dingo issued that press brief, Kenya Kwanza leaders led by the likes of Kimani Chumwa, these top Kenya Kwanza leaders came out very angrily to attack Raila Odinga. Yes, they came out very angrily to attack Raila Odinga. And even before that, listening to some top government officials, since yesterday, they have actually been attacking Raila Odinga, including even Kimani Ichumwa. They have been attacking Raila Odinga. So it appears that the ceasefire was just between Ruto and Ayrudinga. They are, they are juniors. The juniors are not actually mm, following what the master is actually doing. And personally from where I sit, I strongly believe that for the talks to succeed, then William Ruto should actually reign on on his troops. The leader supporting him should stop attacking Raila Odinga. And I'm saying that because I don't think Raila is somebody just to be pushed. Raila has very loyal and ardent supporters. And as Ruto and Raila maybe <laughs> finds a, a solution, Ruto should tame his foot soldiers. Because it's obvious, if he does not tame his foot soldiers, they are going to sabotage the talks. And honestly, looking at the main reason why Raila Odinga and the new team went to the streets was because parliament had already been <coughs> hijacked. Ruto made sure he compromised as many as new leaders as possible. As we talk, he has got almost an absolute number in parliament. So if the talks were to be done in parliament, there is nothing new that will come from there. In fact, it will just heal. There, there is nothing that will, will change. Because at the end of the day, if the talks will only be done in parliament, then what William Ruto directs his members in parliament to do, that's exactly what they will do. That's exactly what I'm seeing here. Already parliament is compromised. Judiciary compromised. IEBC compromised. Everything is literally compromised. So for, 
for Kenya, or rather for yes, for Kenya, to come up with an all-inclusive IEBC. I honestly believe the talks should be done outside parliament. Let Ruto produce, I, I have that 7-7, seven, seven. let Ruto produce 7, Raila produce 7. Let these two teams hmm, agree outside parliament. What they agree on should now be taken to parliament for approval. That's the, that's the only way forward in this case. But from what we are seeing, uh, that is not, in fact, we might find ourselves back on the streets very, very soon. So for William Ruto, if truly believed in the talks and he actually believed in a ceasefire, let him reign on his troops. Besides reigning on his troops, the only way a solution can be found in this case is if this discussion is done outside parliament. As I conclude, it's a fact, again, that William Ruto might be playing some ping pong games with Raila Odinga. Ruto is not ready for an independent IEBC. He wants an IBC, he can start controlling from 2023. So I'm seeing trouble looming ahead, but for Ayn Udinda, there's a new brigade. They should play it hard from day one. If they actually play it soft, then William Ruto is actually going to take them for granted. If it can't be done right from day one, let there be no talks. Let's meet in our next analysis. But even before I go, if you are watching us, but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. To our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. And to any other person who wants to support us, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number. Those sentiments by those Azimio leaders confirms there is trouble looming. William Ruto and his team should move with speed in making sure the country is united. And a united country will be more <coughs> In fact, in the event the country is united, William Ruto will be gaining bonga points. If the country is not united, it's going to be very hard for William Ruto even to rule. And just as I've been saying here, it will reach a point. Kenyans themselves, even without being pushed by Ray Rodinga, they themselves will say enough is enough with William Ruto's government. So the truth is actually benefiting William Ruto more than it's actually benefiting Ray Rodinga and the Azimio Brigade. There should be that respect. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.